the athletes just about to be introduced to the crowd. Peter Elliott lines up in lane one, the World Championship silver medalist, fourth in the World Championship in 1983. Great applause and support for Peter Elliott, one of the grittiest runners in track racing. This is Jose Barbosa, the bronze medalist in the World Championship from Brazil and the world indoor 800 meter champion. Nixon Kipritic, the Kenyan, moved up from 400 meters, first in the East African Championship, first in the Kenyan Trials. Paul Ehring at the University of Virginia in America, third in the Kenyan Trials. And there's Saeed Awita, the reigning Olympic 5,000 meter champion. And in the next lane, the reigning Olympic 800 meter champion defending his title, Joachim Cruz. Coming back after injury. Lane 7, number 1093, Johnny Gray, USA. Johnny Gray, the American record holder and champion. And on the outside, clowning Donato Sevilla of Italy, fifth in the last Olympic Games. The final of the 800 meters. Away first time, the bend to be running lanes and they break in the back straight and they've gone tearing away Vicky Kipritich and Barbosa and there's going to be a battle for the lead here and sure enough Awita is back in eighth place and it's Kipritich who takes the lead in second place Barbosa hurts a chop back uh, 23 seconds for 200 meters unbelievable and still Kipritich leading Barbosa in second place and battling for the lead. Cruz, the champion, is third. Peter Elliott in fourth place, trying to follow the pace. Johnny Gray is five, and Awita goes up to six. So they come up to complete the first lap. Barbosa takes it over and gets his way. Kipritich has to throttle back. And the time at the bell inside 50, 49.5. Very, very quick indeed. Elliott stretching through in fourth place. Following Cruz, Barbosa, Brazil. Kipritich in second place, then Joachim Cruz, the reigning champion, Peter Elliott, the world championship silver medalist, and Awita moves the upper gear into fifth place. Down the back straight, it's Kipritich trying to take him on, but he can't get past Barbosa, and Cruz is queuing up there. Kipritich gets through, Barbosa gets blocked off, and Peter Elliott goes with them. He's in third place, and Peter Elliott attacking on the outside. Cruz looks to see who it is. It's Elliott, but he went the long way round. Awita now, and Cruz, and Elliott, and on the inside, storming through, is Ehring. Ehring the Kenyan has come right from nowhere. Ehring, the unknown Kenyan, comes through to win it. Cruz second, Awita third, Elliott four, Gray five, Barbosa six, Sevilla seven, and Kipritich in eighth place. Ehring, who was last at the bell, comes through to be first on the tape. 143.45 a superb run and i think the others destroyed each other elliot made his bid perhaps in the wrong place going wide on the crown of the bend if he'd waited he might well have had a medal but it was a good run by him a really good run but well paul erring at the university of virginia 144.55 his previous best only third in the kenyan trials but here he's run a second faster than ever before, and he got it tactically right. Now, I wonder if Kipritich sold himself in front for Ehring's benefit. I don't think the Kinnons tend to run like that. I think they'd run for themselves, but uh, he got a clear run in the end, and as the other athletes tired, he mowed them down. Well, that was an excellent run by Ehring, but I'll tell you what, all it proved was the way to run an 800-meter race is not to run 49.5 for the first lap because the leaders run 49 for the first lap and 55 for the second lap, whereas Erang, who was out of trouble all the time, stayed off the pace, showed remarkable form on the second lap, but his splits would have been more, more closely 51 seconds for the first lap and 52 seconds for the second lap. And you know, running distance races, and especially 800 meters, 
It's a little bit like the laws of gravity, because if you go too fast, it catches you eventually. And they were going too fast, Cruz was going too fast, it wasn't fast enough, but Areng had done it right, timed it right, technically was absolutely brilliant. Elliot made his bid there on the crown of the band, lost ground, still battled his way through. Cruz, the Olympic champion, making his bid for the double. But look at Ehring, he got a run on the inside, and he's fatty flying at the end. And really, the others committed suicide with that first first lap. Well, first, first 600 metres, really, because they were all tiring. Ehring takes the goal for Kenya. Cruz, the Olympic champion, takes silver this time. In third place, Saeed Awita and Elliot, a very gallant fourth. You just don't go through at 49-5 and win it, and it's Barbosa and Kipritich are the two that go absolutely back, back and back. Elliot stayed, and that was a guts performance from Peter Elliot. He really did give his all. He gets himself a little bit tangled up. There are feet flying there. It's Cruz that he gets tucked away with. But that's a remarkable run by the Kenyan who stayed out of all the trouble and absolutely cruised right the way through the field. And the front runners at 400 metres were going backwards to him then. It was a beautifully balanced piece of running. And John Velzian, who's with the Kenyan team, had said earlier this week, watch out for Ehring, he can do anything. And that augurs well for the other distance races to come because the Kenyans have such talent at 5,000 metres, 3,000 metres, steeple chase and 10,000 metres. But there's a bit of barging there. The two Brazilians getting Across caught up a little bit. And right. Peter Elliott has to do a bit of physical contact to get past Barbosa. He does that, but uh, without uh, causing any offence. And what a spirited effort this was. He really did give it his all. He's having to run wide. He's got a Wita coming up to his shoulder. He's on the... Uh, He's just behind and in the shadow of the Olympic champion, but it really was a guts effort from the Rotherham man. Well, when you consider that uh, 35 minutes ago he was on the track, not even registered on the training track, and had to have an injection for a groin strain, what an effort this was. Erin comes through to take the gold. It was second fastest than he's ever run before. Second, Cruz of Brazil. In third place, a Wheater of Morocco. And Peter Elliott in fourth place, 144.12. Peter, you've always been a brave man. What exactly happened?